Good morning students. Last time we have learnt about before, after and in between numbers. Now we are going to learn about tens and ones. What is ones? Ones from one to nine numbers. The number from one to nine that are coming in ones place are called ones. And the number from one, the number which are two digit number are called tens. Now here I have written some numbers. These are the one, these numbers are coming in ones place. Now, after 9, there is 1 and 0, 10. 10 is two digit number. So, how do you write this number 10? You write 1 in 10's place and 0 in 1's place. Okay. Now, from 11 to 20, there are two digit numbers. So, how do you write these numbers? You write 1, 10, 1, 11. 1, 10, 2, 12. 1, 10, 3 ones, 13. 1, 10, 4 ones, 14. 1, 10, 5 ones, 15. 1, 10, 6 ones, 17. And so on. Now I'm going to show you some examples. Here I have some sketch pen. We all are going to count the sketch pen. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. How many sketch pens do I have? There are 10 sketch pens. Now if I bundle them up, if I bundle them up, this is called, these are 10 sketch pens. I have bundled them up and it has become 110. What does this become? Here are 10 sketch pens but I bundle them up and it became 110. Now I have Another sketch pen. These are smaller sketch pens. Again, we are going to count the numbers. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now, I have how many sketch pens? These are 10 sketch pens. If I bundle them up, it became 110. Now, Suppose if I have these strips, how many strips do I have? 1, 2, 3 and 4. That means these are 10 sketch pen and these are 4 strips. So 1, 10, 4, 1, 10, 4, 1, 10, 4. What do you call this number? 14. Now I have some ice cream sticks. How many ice cream sticks do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. These are 5 ice cream sticks. Now, this is the bundle of 10 sketch pens. So, 1, 10 and how many loose ice cream sticks? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. How many these are? 5. So, 1, 10, 5. This is called number 15. Okay. Now, I think you have understood the concept of 10s and 1s. How you write 10s and 1? P is for 10s and O is for 1s. Now, we are going to learn 10s and 1 on abacus. Here, I am going to draw... Two lines. All will pay attention over here. Now, this is one line and this is another line. Okay. Now, here, this is one's place. Which hand side this is? Right hand side. Which hand side this is? Left hand side. We write 10. T donate for? 10. Now if I write number 1 and 4. So 1 means if I draw 1B that is 110 and 4. 4 is what? 4. Now 4 is coming in 1's place. How many beads I have to draw over here? 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 1, 10, 4 is number 14. 1, 10, 4 is number 
14. Once again, we will draw another example. Now, here, this is one's place. One's place is right hand side. Tens place is left hand side. Suppose if I write number 16. So, how I am going to write in the abacus form? First, I will 1. 1 makes 110. And 6 makes 6 beads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, 1, 10, 6. 1, 10, 6. Number 16. Now, once again. Okay. Suppose, these are two lines. And if I tell you to write number 11. How you are going to write number 11? Of because this is 1's place. This is 10's place. 1. 1 10 means 1 bead. 1 1's. How many zero? How many beads you are going to draw? 1. 1. 1 10. 1 number 11. 1 10. 1 number 11. This is 1's place. This is 10's place. Right hand side, 1's place. Left hand side, 10's place. Suppose if I write number 15. So how you are going to draw? How you are going to do it on abacus? So 110. 110 makes 1 bead. 5 ones. 5 one makes 5 beads. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, this is number 15. I think students, you understood the concept of 1s and 10s nicely. I hope you understood this. Once again, I am saying, I hope you understood this concept. Thank you.